Welcome back to the channel. This is Simon Cromer and today we are going to be washing this 20 foot Rabalo. We will be removing the mold and mildew. We will be applying protection and then to top it off we will be applying a mold and mildew prevention system to prevent mold and mildew growth in the future. So if you are a boat owner, a boat detailer, these are the exact steps you are going to want to take to restoring your boat seats. With that said guys, let's get started. As I make my way over to the products, I have the best mold and mildew product on the market, which is Start Mildew Clean. So out of all my years of detailing, this is the best solution I have found for removing mold and mildew. And all I have simply done is transferred that solution into a spray bottle. So go to Lowe's, go to Home Depot, I'm pretty sure that's where I got this one from, or go to Amazon and get yourself a cheap spray bottle to do the application. This is going to be the best way to do it and when you go to buy the product when you go to Stark so you're going to want to go to marinedetailsupply.com go over to the Stark products and search for the mold and mildew product and you don't want to get the 16 ounce make sure you get the gallon especially if you are a boat owner in Florida or if you are a detailing company you're going to want to get the gallon because you're going to want to make sure that you have enough product for the job and you're going to be dealing with this problem more on a consistent basis so Go over to marinedetailsupply.com, use the code TOPDOC15, and you can get 15% off of your mold and mildew product or any Stark products on that website. And that's going to be a great start for restoring your boat seats. Okay, so you have purchased the product and you have Stark Mildew Clean in hand and you're ready to get started. You're probably wondering, how am I doing this whole application process? Well, if you jump back to the start of the video, I was spraying down the entire boat with water. So you 100% want to do a wet application with the Stark Mildew Clean. So spray down your boat seats. This is going to help with the absorption of the product into your seats and it's going to help you save a lot of product in the long run. So do not do a dry application. Definitely spray water and help that you know solution kind of dilute a little bit as it works into the boat seats. And if you have noticed, I am already on the second round or the second application on the bow. So you are going to have to do multiple rounds depending on how bad your boat seats are. You might have to do two, three, four, or five rounds to get all of that mold and mildew out. And all we're doing here is just spraying a nice uniform, a nice clean layer on top of our boat seats. And definitely make sure that you cover the entire seat. But just a nice uniform layer. Don't keep spraying and spraying and spraying because, like I said, it might not all come out on the first round. And that is okay. You might have to do two, three, four, or five rounds to get it all out. And that is completely normal depending on how bad your boat seats are. Now, this product takes a few minutes to actively work. So, like I said, don't waste a bunch of product in one area in a short amount of time because it was going to take a few minutes for that product to actively work. And all that you're doing here is you notice I'm spraying the boat seats with the mold and mildew remover and it's just going in there and it's dissolving the mold and mildew right out of the seat. So there's no abrasion involved in this process. You know, you can't take a degreaser, you can't take a magic eraser and expect to scrub mold and mildew off your boat because that is simply not going to work and you're going to damage your boat seats doing it that way. And the active ingredient 
in this product is going to be bleach. And that is what's going in there. That's what's dissolving the molten mildew. But the thing I really like about the Stark Mildew Clean is I've never had any issues. I've never had any yellowing. Nothing that is going to damage your boat seats. So when you're finished with this process, you can be sure that there's no damage being done. And your boat seats are going to look brand new when you're finished after you do all the rounds. Now, I do have a scrub brush here. And that is not to try to scrub off the mold and mildew. But sometimes what happens is these pores in your vinyl, they get clogged. They get filled with dirt and grime. And this is just pulling or removing that dirt and grime so that your mold and mildew product can get into those pores and remove the mold and mildew. So there's no abrasion going on. I'm not removing mold with my brush here. I'm just opening up the pores for the Stark Mildew Clean to actively work. Back to what I was saying about the applications is you might have to do four or five applications of this product for everything to be removed. So it takes time and the more applications you do, the more of that product works into your seats and removes the mold and mildew. So you're just going to have to keep doing this over and over until all your mold and mildew is removed. Now, sometimes you might have defects, you might have sunspots in your seats, or you might have dirt and grime. This product is not going to remove dirt and grime. It's not going to you know, restore sunspots, it's only going to remove mold and mildew. So definitely do this process first. And then if you want to do some general cleaning, go ahead and do that after you have removed the mold and mildew. So you have a better look at the seat and you can see what is going on. So we're just continuing and you notice that in the bow, I never sprayed off the mold and mildew product from previously. So maybe it's sitting on there for 10 or 20 or 30 minutes and that is okay. The mold and mildew, the Stark Mildew Clean product is safe. You can use it for 30 minutes. You don't have to worry about it staining or drying into your seats. So I wouldn't worry about that. I do the entire boat and I keep the product on the entire boat the whole time I'm doing this process so that I can get that product to further work into the seats. And the more time, the better. Now, when you're completely finished, yes, you are going to want to spray off that product. So don't leave this product on your boat for days. Definitely when you're finished, you know, 30 minutes, an hour max, spray off the mold and mildew product and get it all off your seats. It's really not good to just be dripping all over your gel coat, all over your paint. So, you know, this mold and mildew product is really only for your seats. And then when you're finished, spray everything off, give your boat a good rinse down, give it a good wash, and you're good to go. Up to this point, everything has been covered in Stark Mildew Clean up to the point where I think we only need to do one more application. So when I get to this point, I like to spray all the mold and mildew product off of all the seeds, all the vinyl, and start from scratch, start fresh. And this is how I do it. So just spray everything off, get everything off of the boat, and then you're going to be ready to do your final application. As you can see, the boat seats pretty much look brand new again, or at least back to original condition. And all I'm doing here is doing our final application of mold and mildew remover. And I'm just doing the final inspection. And what I have is a scrub brush. So again, I have a scrub brush to remove dirt and grime out of the pores, because what happens is if the pores are blocked by dirt and grime, that will not allow the Stark Mildew Clean to get into that spot and remove the mold and mildew. So this just helps open up the pores 
and get better workability with Stark Middle Clean. So guys, pretty much this is the final step before we jump into the next part of the video, but I just wanted to make a super simple list for you guys in case you are still a little bit curious or if you kind of forgot of the exact steps to take when doing this process. So number one, spray down your entire bow with water, especially the boat seeds. Spray all the boat seeds down with water. You wanna do a wet application. Number two is you're gonna to wanna to do the first application of Stark Mildew Clean on all of your vinyl. So after you do that, go ahead, come back, Take the spots that you need and do a second, a third application and just let that product work. So give it some time, give it some minutes to work in and kind of remove the molten mildew right out of your receipt. So after you do those two steps, number three is going to be to spray down your vinyl seats again. So for a third time to start from fresh because we want to start fresh when we do our final application. And on the final application, bring a square brush with you to open up the pores so you can maximize the product and you can maximize your results when doing this whole process. So those are the four steps, water, spray the application, number three, water again, and number four, your final application with the scrub brush. And you're gonna be set up perfectly to remove your mold and mildew from all of your vinyl seats, and you're gonna get your boat looking back to new condition, or at least back to original condition, and you're gonna be happier than you ever have before because you finally figured out the solution for removing mold and mildew from your seats on your boat. So your boat's gonna look brand new, your seats are clean, everything's good to go. On to the next step. So what do we have here? Well, we have 303 aerospace protectant. So it's not just good enough to remove the mold and mildew from your boat because it's just gonna come back in a few months. So we really want to dial in on the protection, on the prevention of mold and mildew to make sure we maximize this whole process and get the most amount of time out of it where we don't have to deal with mold and mildew and you know applying stark mildew clean all over our boat every couple months because over time, yes, that does affect the seats, and yes, it does harm the seats long term. So 303 Aerospace Protectant is going to restore UV inhibitors, and it's going to restore oils back into your boat. So kind of think of this process like washing your hair. So we washed our hair, or we cleaned the seats with you know shampoo or stark mildew clean, and then we have to follow up with a conditioner or a protectant, and this is going to restore oils. So we need to restore oils back into our hair with a conditioner or oils back into our vinyl with a protectant. So this is gonna be that perfect process and the application is super simple. All you do is spray it onto your seat directly and then just wipe it in with a towel. Super simple, super effective and this is how you are gonna to wanna to do this process. So with that said guys, let's jump to the final part of the video. The third and final step is going to be to apply Xanago Marine Mold and Mildew Preventer. Now you can buy this in a couple of different forms, but I have the spray bottle form and it's gonna be super similar to how we did the 303 protection. So you're just gonna to wanna to spray the product onto your boat seats and I wouldn't be too conservative about it because you definitely wanna make sure that you cover the entire seat in a good application. So once you Spray the seat down, go ahead and wipe it in. And then the other option, if you are a detailing business or if you just want a better, more precise application, you can buy an atomizer, which is an electric or a battery powered machine, which will spray the product on your seats for you. 
and you don't have to wipe it in because it's very precise and you can just kind of leave it on the seat. But with the spray, it's not as precise. You want to wipe it in. And basically, not to get too technical, but what this product has is it has a microbiostatic in it and this reduces or inhibits the growth of bacteria. And basically, mold and mildew is just bacteria growth. So this is going to inhibit the growth up to 90 days. So go ahead and spray this on your boat every two or three months and inhibit and reduce the amount of bacteria growing on your boat. Now, definitely make sure that your seats are clean. Make sure they're free of mold and mildew. Definitely do the protection process with 303. And then you can always go ahead and finish this off with Xanago Marine. So this is pretty much the process for restoring and making sure that you prevent mold and mildew growth in the future. So you can spray this product on your seats every two to three months. And this is going to be excellent prevention for your boat seats and for bacteria growth. So guys, this is pretty much the process for doing this whole restoration process. You're going to remove the mold and mildew with Stark Mildew Clean. You're going to use 303 Protectant for restoring oils, restoring UV inhibitors back into your vinyl. And then to top it off, you want to do a prevention system. And Xanago Marine is going to be the perfect prevention system for you. And guys, with that said, we are going to end the video here. So if you did like the video, leave a like. Be sure to share this video with other people because I think this video could help a lot of boat owners, a lot of boat detailers in terms of just removing mold and mildew and restoring seeds because this is a pretty big issue in Florida. Now guys, always remember that you can purchase my course, Detail Like a Pro. Just go to my website, go to top.pro.com, go to the courses tab and you can learn more about that. That is a beginner's course for detailers. And with that said guys, we are going to end the video here. So I will see you on the next video. Peace out.